Today we're gonna to go over how to do fine tuning adjustments and initial adjustments to your rear and front suspension on your Cyberbike Cyclone. The first adjustment we will do is going here and adjusting the air pressure by removing this red cap and using the provided or bought from another source shock pump. Please only use a shock pump on your suspension. Using a normal pump can damage it because these suspensions, like all mountain bikes, are high pressure, low volume. First, we are going to go and twist on our shock pump. After we are on there securely, we can go ahead and pump it up to the desired pressure. Once we're at our desired pressure, first we are going to release this lower column here. That will release pressure from the shock. The plunger shoots out, that means it is ready to be removed. And then we will go ahead and remove the larger one. The little bit of air you hear leaking out is coming out of the tube, not of the suspension. So that way all the air that you want in there will stay in there. After we finish with that, we're gonna go ahead and put our little cap back on and we are good to go. The second point of adjustment is going to be here. This little knob here controls your rebound and this rebound can drastically change how your bike rides. The more rebound you have on here, the faster your shock will rebound. It will return to the original state. The less you have on there, the slower it will return. Now, if you are riding over some very rocky, rooty areas, you may want there to be less rebound so you don't have a pogo stick effect and shake you off the bike. If you are riding on a very smooth trail, you may want more rebound so that way your shot can go back to its original spot and you can get all the suspension that you need at any given time. If we turn the knob away from the bike, we can see that this changes the rebound and makes it a whole lot slower. If I apply some pressure and then let go of it, you can see how slowly it returns to its original spot. Now if I turn the knob towards the bike, you can see that the shock returns very quickly to its initial spot. Now here in this video, I did show you the two extremes. I showed you the most and least amount of rebound you can have. You are rarely gonna ever need to hit those two extremes. Normally you're gonna be somewhere in the middle and these adjustments can be done on the fly while you're on the trail to really fine tune your bike and meet your riding needs. Now the last adjustment is gonna be your lockout. This lockout here will turn your shock on or almost all the way off. The lockout will never completely remove any movement from the rear shock because in doing so you would damage the shock. So if we turn the knob away from the bike like so, this little blue lever, you can see that the shock really doesn't move much anymore. And if we reach down and turn it away from the bike, that turns your shock back on. Now your front suspension is not completely dissimilar from your rear suspension. We have a lock out here and we have our air here. Once again, to put air in, we are going to remove our cap and put air in using the valve and the provided, or one you may have bought yourself, shock pump, but never a normal pump. Once again, these are high pressure, low volume, and a normal pump may damage your suspension. Now this is going to be set dependent on your body weight, and a helpful guide can be found on the website or in your owner's manual. Once we have our air in there, we always want to 
we turn the cap back to a tight position. Over here we have our lockout, very similar to the rear suspension. It has a on and an off rotation. On the on rotation, we are going to turn our fork on. And as you can see, it moves freely dependent on the amount of pressure you have in there. In the off position, we have nearly no movement in the front suspension. 